hello and welcome to my youtube channel for the returning subscriber thank you very much for, for new subscriber kindly hit that subscription button and like and share the comments today for me it's just a short video today is 21st of, 21st of april i'm um, celebrating not really celebrating but it is six months since i lost my very 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 good friend and uh it's been walk of pain i can just say it's been a walk of pain because i don't want to lie i've never healed i have never healed since i lost my very good friend in october 21st of 2022 i find sometimes we shared so much and it pains me i remember when i received the calls of her death i cried for non-stop for hours on end and uh, I find myself crying sometime. There are days I'm okay. There are, uh, there are days I wake up just remembering her. So my question to all of us is, what should I do so that I can heal? I know it's not easy to forget, but at least I can heal so that even when I talk about Emily, I, I, uh, when I talk about her, I don't have to have the pain because my friend suffered quite a bit. She had been sick before she died and uh, she rested because she rested from pain. That's one thing I thank God. She had been in pain for quite some time. Uh, but again, when you lose somebody who cared for you, a close, it could be a close friend. It could be a close relative. It could be a... So to me, I think Emily's death hit me very hard. The death hit me very hard. So... What should I do to overcome the pain? For those of you who have gone through this mourning period, because it has to come to an end, sort of, but how to, do I overcome the pain? If you know what I need to do, kindly, uh, kindly just write a comment in the comment section. I'll read it. Help me overcome this pain. Help me overcome the pain of losing this girl. She was my very, very good friend. And uh, right now I'm sick. But the pain I've gone through. Just mourning my friend. Just remembering the good times we shared. Just having to talk to some of her close associates, be it business or people she bought things from, people she really, you know, she was a person who loved herself and she promoted businesses, be it handbags, perfumes, dresses, because so many times my friend gifted me very many things. In fact, I remember five years ago, I actually told her I'll never buy clothes. And indeed, I've never bought clothes because she used to gift me very new clothes. So there's no need of me piling up clothes. But she did so much for me. And I know I'm not all alone. I know we are so many of us who are still mourning the death of, him, of Emily. I know there are so many of us who still feel that they still needed her presence on earth here. And I know there are so many of us that Emily touched in very many beautiful memories. And to me, I need to celebrate her for sure. 
I need to celebrate. But at time, uh, choosing between celebrating and feeling the pain of her absence are things that drives me crazy. I really, you know, the way you, you think, like, I still needed her. I still needed to talk to her. I still needed her presence on earth. But who am I? It's only God who chooses our days on earth. And so the God saw a beautiful flower in her. And she, he plucked it. And Emily rested. So it, today marks 26 uh, months since Emily died. And uh, the pain, the cries, the sorrows. And I know... There are so many people who share my pain. There are so many people who share my emotion. So many times people have called me. They told me, Judy, you know, uh, let her rest. She's, yes, I, even me personally, I want Emily to rest because she had suffered on earth here quite enough. But the emotions I've, I feel are beyond beyond me because if I really wanted to at times I just find myself crying it's not that uh, I don't want Emily to rest I want Emily to rest but the pain I remember in December 40 days after she had been buried I went to their back to their home and as soon as I reached the gate, as soon as I reached the gate, I just found myself crying, and I cried for quite a bit, and uh, it was painful just seeing the father there and her siblings. You know, they so reminded me of all the Decembers, every time she came and we would meet, just laugh, have fun, and just celebrate our lives then. At times I just find like, oh, do I even have a friend? Because I think I, I, re, I, Emily was such a close friend because I stayed at her place for more than a year. She welcomed me to her house. She fed me. She clothed me. She gave me, you know, the way a friend just holds your hand. Yes, Emily held my hand. Emily held my hand single-handedly, and she never let me. She never let me down. I, I, I really miss her. I really, really, really miss her. And as we celebrate six months since she departed, I only pray that God can give me grace and favor so that I can overcome this pain, that God can uplift me so that I can tear no more, so that I can allow my friend to rest in peace. I can allow my friend to, to just rest and rest because she suffered on earth here. Kindly, if you know of ways I can use to, to heal, I need that healing process, kindly just comment on, my, on the comment section. And if you are new here, kindly hit my sub, the subscription button and I'll appreciate very much. Thank you for coming back to my channel. God bless.